you know, it's, uh, it's definitely something, uh, different. It's a different way of living, that's for sure. And, I mean, everywhere you look, everyone I encounter, I, I always hear the same thing. It's always just, why do you do this? And, honestly, the, the, the reason I do it is because it's what I love. You know, people are, people are always gonna attack me about it and make fun of me and this and that and this, but honestly, it's something I love to do. And you can't stop me from doing what I love to do, you know? A kid, a rocker, a high schooler, a weirdo, an outcast, faster, thinner, and slimmer than ever before. The next big thing. These are all words and phrases used to describe George Shrepp, the rock band rock star. My name is Chad Give It To Me, and this is Rock Band, a documentary on the legend of George Shrepp. George Shrimp was a really strange guy. I just, I remember like, uh, he always, he was always bullied. Like the, the, the athletes would like take his head and like shove it up their butts and stuff like that and like, fart in their faces and you know, typical stuff, swirlies. But um, I remember every day he'd be like, hey Shrimp, what you, uh, what you doing after school? And he'd be like, oh dude, Go and play rock band. You like have withdrawals from rock band. It was the weirdest thing. Like George Shrimp. Yeah, I think I remember him. I went to high school with that kid. He, he was pretty good at guitar hero, if I remember. I was rock band. Rock band. Oh. Okay. Um. Um. Mm. Mm. Ugh, George Shrimp. Yeah, I remember that little dweeb. Just mm, beat him up for his lunch money. If I wasn't busy ripping out the weights. Ugh, no surprise he died. Couldn't handle himself. Ugh. He... He was a weak in spirit. Oh, was strong. Recently, a lost interview with George Shrimp has been found, giving us insight into what exactly was behind the thoughts, actions, and motivations of rock band rock star George Shrimp. So by now, I mean, you are extremely popular, but when did you first start playing rock band? <laughs> when, when did I first start? I mean, that's kind of a loaded question there. You see, when I was 14, 13 maybe, uh, that's when I played my first Guitar Hero game, Guitar Hero 2. <laughs> oh, God, it, 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 was a lot of, it was a lot of fun. It was a good, good time, you know. Guitar Hero 2, I played that for maybe two, two or three years, and when I, when I became 15, 16, uh, Rock Band, Rock Band really took over my world. Um, I mean, it, it wasn't even that it was, you know, all vocals, guitar, bass, and drums all in one game that really got me, but it was, it was something much more real than that. See, I fell into, I fell into this, this, state of, I need something to get my life going, and what really got my life going was sitting in my, my room and pretending that I was a rock star, because, let me, let me explain this, when I was a kid, 
I really wanted to be a rock star. You know, more than more than you know, people want to be astronauts and the president. I wanted to be a rock star. You know, and rock band, rock band really was my first, uh, my first pillar, or my, my gateway, my first gateway of getting me into this this life of stardom that I now live. You know, and and I guess. It was just that curiosity that, that really got me started, you could say. Yeah. So, you are an absolute master at the rock band guitar, but when exactly do you feel you're going to start playing a real guitar? You know, one with strings instead of buttons. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't really follow... Well, I mean an actual instrumental well, guitar. I mean... The rock band guitar is a real instrument. I mean, there's no other way around that. I, I mean, if you're asking why I'm not playing like an actual guitar or something, I mean, okay. Like, I tried playing the game Rocksmith, you know, and, and it, it was not that fun. I mean, there weren't any buttons on the guitar. There was like six different strings, and it, it did not really grasp my, my enthusiasm as much as rock band. I see. Well... You mentioned that you started playing guitar here at you and rock band in your teens, so clearly you were playing, you know, rock band throughout high school, so tell us about high school. Oh, high school, uh, man. Uh, you, you know, high school, looking back on it, I guess I was always, I was kind of a loner. Uh, I was the weird kid, you know, I was, I was kind of, I was separated from everyone, you know, and it wasn't really... It wasn't that I was weird necessarily, but it was that people didn't understand me. You know, I I mean, God, I mean, high school high school is a weird time for everyone. You know, and I, I'm I'm definitely a part of that category. I mean, I guess I was kind of a loner back in high school. Um, people didn't really like me, honestly. People thought I was weird and, you know, oh, look at him, he's always playing rock band, you know. I, I never really hung out with anyone, I didn't really have many friends, or, you know, I didn't really talk to anyone. And it wasn't really, it wasn't them. I, I don't blame anyone from high school who didn't like me for not liking me. I never really put myself out there, it just, because I was so concentrated on, on playing rock band, you know. And, I'll be honest, it paid off. It definitely paid off. I guess it would have been nice, though, to have a few friends in high school. But, I mean, it's high school, right? We moved on to bigger and better things, for sure, definitely. Oh, well, I, I would absolutely agree. Did things change in college? No, um, I never went to college, no. <laughs> uh, I just kind of, after high school, I just kind of moved on to uh, what I do now, you know? I spent my entire high school career playing rock band because I, I, I play, you can't major in rock band in college, which I think is ridiculous, but that's beside, that's a whole nother thing. I, I knew I wouldn't get what I needed in college, and so I started training in high school, and so, and so here I am, you know, today, here I am, doing what I love, you know. Well, do you want to go to college? No, no, I definitely do not want to go back to college ever, because this is going to work out for me. You've brought out some of the biggest crowds in rock band history. I mean, with that many fans, you must practice a lot. Yeah, yeah. No, practice is a huge deal. I practice at least seven to ten hours a day uh, on weekdays and on weekends. Um, I generally, I mean, I order some pizza for the day and I pretty much play all day, all night. Oh, well, okay. I have a schedule. I go from six in the morning to three in the morning uh, on Saturdays is when I play rock band. Uh, I do give myself an 8.30 to 9.30 break to eat pizza and watch TV or, you know, whatever, but generally I, 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 try to, I try to play all day as much as I possibly can. I guess you could say I play about 80 hours a week, um, but you have to to be, to be at the status that I am. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I've played, I've toured all over the world, uh, I've been to 
Tokyo, and... I really have been to a lot of places, though. Uh, I really have. I, I, when I first started, I guess, I mean, obviously, you know, I didn't get a whole, a huge fan base all at once, you know, but, I mean, over these last 15 years, I've really, uh, I've really gained, gained a lot of true hardcore fans, you know. And I guess it... When I go out on stage and I see all these people cheering for me, uh, I'll be honest, there, there's no happier feeling, at least for me, in the entire world. Nothing. I mean, I guess I'm most happy when I'm playing rock band. I mean, I remember when I was when I was 19, my, my dad, for my birthday, he, he got me a, a Ferrari. And he said, he said, look, George, I need you to take this car and find yourself a girlfriend. And I said, Dad... Look, bring the car back, give me a new rock band controller, and I promise I'll be happy. And after two weeks of arguing, he did, and God, I was so happy getting that controller. <sighs> so, did you ever have a girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, I did have a girlfriend for a little while. Uh, my junior year in high school, I, was, I, was, I dated this girl, Julie. God, uh... We were together for about a month, um, but one day, I, uh, no, you know, she couldn't accept me. She'd always nag me, oh, why are you playing so much Guitar Hero, oh my gosh. I'm like, listen, Julie, it's rock band. It's different, you know. Yeah, I played Guitar Hero when I was a kid, but I grew up, you know, I play rock band now. Uh, I, I don't really even care too much about relationships, honestly. They only bring you down. Well, surely you don't feel that way about your parents. I mean, I like to think that my parents are really proud of me. I, I do, and I hope that they are, but, uh, I mean, every other day, my mom calls me to ask me how I'm doing, you know, and she just, she doesn't seem so happy. I haven't talked to my dad in three years, I think. Yeah, about three years. He's not very happy with me, no, no. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't talk about my son. Just being in big old grumpy pants. Uh, he, I just... He couldn't be normal. That's all I wanted. I just wanted a kid to, to be just a wanted child, to raise him up, to have, you know, be successful, have a nice job, and... He plays rock band for everything. Yeah, but he's happy. Stupid video games. Yeah. I hate video games. Well, you know, a lot of people make money doing that. Maybe he's making some good money. You don't know. It's not... You don't know because you never talk to him. I call him. I call him on the phone all the time. We talk all the time. We have great conversations. And you would know because you're never here. You know I ask you if you want to talk to him. You say, you no, know my son's a loser. But he's not. Friends. You know why? When I was five... Uh -huh, this again. All I wanted for my birthday was pawn. All I wanted. It's what everyone had. It's what everyone wanted. You were five years old. I go, hey, pop. I want pawn. You know what he said to me? He said, he said you suck. No. He said, you're going to get a football. And you're going to grow up like a real man. Proud. I told my son the same damn thing. You know what he said to me? You didn't like your he father said, either. How do you expect him to like you when when you force him into doing things he doesn't like? I'm huh? You hate your, you hate your he father. You looked me straight in the eye. And you were to do the same thing to your son. You looked me straight in the eye. You said, I don't respect you, Dad. What am I supposed to say to that? He was five. All five year olds say that. Who are you? Keep them out of the house. What are you supposed to say that? Are you supposed to say, okay, I respect that you don't respect me. What do you want to do? I understand you don't want a football. What do you want? I he, says, he says a guitar. You should get him a guitar. Because look at him now. Okay, now he's a rock star. I'm looking at you. What makes this lifestyle so worth it? The feeling I get when I'm pressing those buttons that co coordinate with the buttons that are on the screen, I get into this this trance, you know, this 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 
psychedelic feeling. It's kind of like, it's kind of like an ecstasy, you know? When I'm up there, in front of a screen, playing rock band, it, it's not something I can just describe. It, it, it's, it's truly, it's truly just magical. From outcast to rock star, George Shrimp truly lived the American dream, the classic rags to riches story. <laughs> and I do love the classics. Remember folks, my name is Chad Give It To Me, and this has been Rock Band, a documentary on the legendary George Shrimp.